Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for the month of June 2018. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of June. How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing amazing. We're starting a new month and that means new opportunities. A lot of um, possibilities for the beginning of the month. So Let's see what Spirit has for Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of June 2018. Okay. Okay, Aries. Um, well, your general message, uh, the general influences or what you're going to be experiencing for the month of June 2018th general energy is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles definitely talks about abundance, stability. For some of you guys, it is the beginning of um, a singlehood. You know, the Nine of Pentacles is definitely the singlehood card, but it can also indicate a lot of abundance and financial stability finally coming through. For some of you guys, it could represent having opportunities in regards to finances, so it could be uh, getting a higher ranking type of position. It can also speak about money becoming very easy for you for the month of June. So if you guys have been working very, very hard or have had difficulties in regards to finances for the month of June, I want to say the second week of June, there's definitely going to be more stability coming in and more opportunities to actually make more money. So your first card here is the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups definitely talks about, you know, having a lot of time a lot of free time, or it could represent in regards to relationships. Uh, the Four of Cups definitely talks about not being interested or not finding someone that you're genuinely interested in. The Four of Cups definitely does speak about boredom. So let's see what the messages come through for the Four of Cups. Okay, Aries, for some of you guys, um, for those of you guys that are single and have been single for a while, I feel that you're bored. Uh, perhaps some of you guys are looking into getting into a relationship, but it's not its not so much of um, having to do with finding someone that is interesting to you or that you're being pulled towards them. It's more so to do with the fact that you're bored of being single. For those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, it could represent that the relationship is currently going through a bit of a stuck type of position not being able to move forward uh, could have to do with the fact that either one or the other, you or your partner, Aries, has too much free time. And this could actually represent um, having miscommunication or kind of nitpicking, but more so to do with the fact that they have too much time in their hands. So it's going to resonate with some, with others. It may not be this message for you. Nonetheless, the Four of Cups does represent being bored. It could be for some of you guys, you guys are bored at the fact that you guys have continuously been working very hard towards financial stability or even working a lot of hours, working very long hours. Nonetheless, the middle of the month for you, you have the wheel of the wheel of the year here. Not sure if you guys can see that very good. The wheel of the year definitely speaks about uh, the wheel turning and it's going to be in your favor. It could also represent striking luck in regards to finances. You guys, you do have these two cards together and pentacles is always about prosperity, but it also speaks about, you know, you go from an eight to a 10. So for some of you guys that are, um, from, for some of you guys that enjoy gambling or enjoy, um, taking chances, anything that has to do with the asar. Um, definitely for the month of June, you guys are going to be very prosperous in that aspect. Definitely listen to your intuition. Uh, the last three cards are very prominent for me. So I'm getting multiple messages. Okay. Uh, and these three cards is the eight of pentacles, the wheel of the year and the 10 of pentacles. This is definitely financial stability. You guys, for some of you guys, it could represent that an inheritance for some of you guys, um, if you've had a family or someone that passed away or was deceased and you've been having difficulty or they, the family dynamic has been having difficulty in regards to the inheritance or something to do with uh, money coming in, it's definitely going to rule in your favor. So, um, I mean, I hate to say that, uh, because, you know, but I know that sometimes people that are financially well off will leave a home, will leave something. 
Um, and with the Ten of Pentacles, this is definitely talking about um, a homecoming, uh, a home being given to you uh, could be through, again, the passing of a person or a family member or relative, some type of inheritance for sure. For others of you, the Eight of Pentacles with the Wheel of the Year and the Ten of Pentacles here is definitely talking about the wheel is turning in your favor, sweetheart. If you've been working very, very hard or putting your nose to the grindstone and actually like feeling like you haven't shined or people have not given you the opportunities that perhaps they're giving to other people that you feel are not as deserving as you. Uh, this is definitely going to change. And I feel that the, the end of June for Aries is going to be very prominent in regards to finances. Okay. Uh, for others of you, it could represent again, like I said, um, being able to find, um, balance in your life more than anything, but financial stability is very prominent for you, Aries for the month of June. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like share and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe and we'll see each other in the middle of the month. Bye.